girls, it's Coach Thompson. I just getting ready for practice, but I wanted to stop by and do a quick lesson with you about adding with base 10 pictures. I know you did a lot of this in second grade, so we're going to do a quick review on that. But first, before we begin, let's talk about those base 10 pictures so we know what we're looking at. This first one, boys and girls, is called a flat. Right? And that has a value of 100. Okay? Our next picture that we're going to see is a long, and it looks like that. It looks like a stick. We're going to call that a long. Some of you may know it by rods. Okay, and that has a value of 10. And our last picture is that little guy right there. We call that a unit. Or ones, and it has a value of 1. Okay? Now, when we go over here and we look at this flat, we also know that within that flat, we have 10 longs. So I could almost draw 10. Still a value of 100, and if I went even further, if I counted all those ones, those units, there would be 100 of them. I'm not going to draw all 100, but you know that within that flat there are 100, okay? Now if we go over to this long, if I were to break that apart into its units, there would be 10, 10 of those. Still a value of 10, okay? All right, so let's go on to a quick practice of two-digit addition. And I'm just going to leave those up there for right now with their values. 100, 10, okay? So our first problem that we're going to look at is going to be 53 plus 38. And we're going to use our base 10 pictures to draw that. So I know that this 5 is in the tens place, and that has 5 longs. And 3 in the ones place. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to add my 3 tens here, my 3 longs, and my 8 units. Okay? So now, I'm going to take a look at that. And I happen to notice something over here. What do you guys notice? Do you notice that we have more than 10 ones over there? We can do some regrouping. So we can take these eight and group it with those two. And now we have 10 ones. And we know from before that that makes a long. So we're going to do this. We're going to draw a little arrow. And we're going to add a, unit, a long right there. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to look. We're going to add up all our longs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 of those. I've already counted these because when I regrouped and made that, but I still had one unit left over. So I'm going to draw that. So now my, I know my 9 longs has a value of 90. Add it with my one that's left, it comes out to a total of 91. Okay? Are we good? We're going to move on? All right. Let's go on to three digit addition. Whew, this is hard in football practice, guys. All right. Let's go with 263 plus 129. Okay. We're going to look at that first number. I know I have two hundreds, so that's two flats. I know I have six longs. And I have three ones, or three units. Okay. I'm going to draw my second number. I have one flat, 100. I have two longs, and I have nine ones. Okay. Just like I did before, I notice, again, that I have more than ten ones. I can regroup them. So I know that's a nine, so if I do that, that 
makes a 10 or a long. I'm going to bring it over to remind myself that I brought it over there. And then I'm going to add up. I've got my three flats. Not a very good picture. I've got my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine longs. And then I have my two ones that were left over or remaining. Okay? So I know that my pictures, my three flats have a value of 300 plus my nine longs have a value of 90 and my two ones have a value of two. When I add that together, that has a total of 392. All right, let's try one more. Let's go now with 400 57 plus 246. Once again, I know my four is 400 or four flats. My five are five longs. And my seven ones. Second picture, 246. Four, six. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Are you noticing something just a little bit different about this one? I have more than 10 ones, so I can regroup there. So let's do this. I have seven up here, and so I'm going to go eight, nine, and ten. So that's going to make all my longs that I can bring over. But now when I look at my longs, I also notice something. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten longs now. And if we remember when we talked about that, that makes a flat, or 100. So I'm going to do this. Notice how I had to regroup again. And I'm going to do that same exact thing. Draw my little arrow so I remember that I've already counted those. Okay? Then I just bring it down here. I count up all my flats. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, or seven flats. Now, I count, I've already counted this group of 10, so I don't have any 10s left. So I'm just going to put that, I'm not going to draw any rods right now, or longs. Then I'm going to come over here and the three ones that I have remain. Then I look, I know my seven flats have a value of 700 plus, I don't have any 10, so I'm not going to add anything, and my three ones. That has a value of 703. Okay? You think you're ready to try some on your own? Okay. Let me give you two problems that I want you guys, kind of like your practice tonight. I want you to work on these at home, and then go ahead and write them down on a separate piece of paper and bring them into your teachers tomorrow. Okay? The first problem is 300. 47 plus 235, okay? And then the second problem I want you to try is 498 plus 163. All right? You think you guys are ready for that? All right, let's break it out on three. We'll say go nights. You ready? One. 
two, three, go Knights! <laughs>